You know, I, I got involved in, uh, in politics because uh, I, I think there are a lot of ways that you can uh, have an impact on your community and you can try to leave things better than, than you found them. Unfortunately, uh, the, uh, the elected officials that we've had uh, up to this point uh, have not uh, been willing to do the things that need to be done. I think most politicians are crooked. <laughs> but this one's not. I think a lot of them say what they want to say just to get elected, and then they don't carry out what they say. He, he's honest. I mean, if he says he's going to do something, he'll do it. Uh, and I'll back him in any, anything he does. He, he is honest. He is trustworthy. Uh, he's somebody that if he tells you he's going to do something, he, he's going to do it. And I can tell you as his son, he, when he says it, he means it. You know, we, we told people what we were going to do in the last election, and we were serious about it. And we told them that uh, we were going to balance the budget, we were going to do it without raising taxes, uh, we were going to do it and allow temporary taxes to expire. I think there were a lot of people who were surprised with the fact that we did exactly what we said we were going to do. As a leader of the state senate, Phil led the charge and claimed the first Republican majority in the North Carolina legislature in over 100 years. His leadership and accomplishments have meant real and significant change for the citizens of North Carolina. Tax cuts for small business, sales tax cuts, and personal income tax cuts too. Senate leader Phil Berger has brought our state government from a $2.4 billion deficit to a $145 million surplus today. Forbes magazine now rates North Carolina as one of the top places for businesses and careers. Over 2,000 more state-funded teachers are in classrooms across North Carolina. Phil Berger fought the liberal special interests to enact needed medical liability reforms and to lower costs and improve access to health care. I think we're at, at a critical juncture. Uh, in terms of what needs to be done and the fact that the right kinds of decisions need to be made. You think about uh, where we started from and, uh, and uh, what we've had an opportunity to do. Now, yeah, we've, we've worked hard, but there's no place else on earth that, uh, that, that people have this, this sort of opportunity. And it's important enough uh, for us to make sure that, uh, that, that those that follow us have the same sorts of opportunities. A and I see that disappearing uh, fast. Yeah. And I, I feel like I have an obligation, I feel like we have an obligation to try to do something to, uh, to, to change that. Phil Berger, an ordinary man who's done extraordinary things for his state.